Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I like to cook my pumpkin. Cooked pumpkin can be used for so many different things. Cakes, pies, soups, lattes, you name it. Let's start with the pumpkin. I like to use a big pumpkin because I think that they cook better. A lot of people like to get the small pumpkins and they say that they're sweeter, but I really haven't noticed a difference. So we're just gonna use a regular pumpkin out the store that I previously washed. I just scrubbed it with cold water in the sink and dried it off. I always start by basically bringing my knife around the middle of the pumpkin because that's what, that way it's easier for me to cut it down. So I just wanna get the middle out. And it's really hard to cut a pumpkin because they're so tough. So I kinda cut down and then I bring it back a little bit just to Loosen the cut a little bit. All right, so let's pull the middle out of the pumpkin and discard. Now I'm going to cut it down the middle on both sides. Again, I'm just cutting down the middle on both sides. This is a quicker way for me because other people will have you here all day cutting pumpkins. There we go. Now it's split. So I'm gonna take one half of the pumpkin and I'm gonna scrape the insides out. Just like you do when you're decorating pumpkins. Now that we've scraped all the guts from the inside, we're gonna flip it over, and then we're gonna cut our pumpkin in half. Okay, we're gonna take half of that pumpkin we're going to take half of the pumpkin that we cut in half and we're going to cut it in half again. All right, that's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on my baking sheet. Again, we're going to take half of that pumpkin and cut it in half again. As you can see, I have two baking dishes for a medium slash large pumpkin because I don't want them to be overcrowded. Now I'm gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour. Sometimes it can go to be an hour and 15 minutes, but you want it to be so when you stick a knife into it, it goes right through, just like baking potatoes or other vegetables. I took my pumpkin slices out of the oven after I let them cook at 350 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. Then I let them cool for 10 minutes. So after my pumpkins have cooled for 10 minutes, now I'm going to take the insides and scoop them in a bowl. And don't worry, like the roasted part, like it's a little brown, that is perfectly okay. We want it to be a little bit brown so that way, you know, the flavors come out more. So that is just perfect, nice and smooth. Now that we've gotten all of the pumpkin out of the skins, we're gonna take our box grater, or some call it a potato masher, and we're gonna start mashing the pumpkin together. I do not think it's necessary to put it in a blender. A lot of people put it into a blender and that's fine if that's what you wanna do, but then it becomes pureed. 
I'd put it in a blender if I'm making a pumpkin latte or if I'm making soup. But I'm just making pies. I'll be making pies and cakes and baked goods. So if you're just making pies and cakes and baked goods, there is no need to stick it into a blender. But now that our pumpkin has been mashed well, I'm going to let it cool for a while, probably about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to stick it into the fridge. And from here, we have our homemade pumpkin. Now we can make cakes or whatever you want to make with it. If you'd like to see more videos of my cooking, don't forget to subscribe.